Up to this point, we've covered the fundamentals you need to activate your first abandoned cart workflow. Let's take one more minute to look at some possible advanced steps you could integrate into the workflow itself to make your automation work harder for you. Click back to Automation, the workflow you've created. It's always a good idea to send more than one email to increase your chances of getting the shopper's attention. You may want to test some smaller incentives in that second email and see which ones boost your conversion rate. Let's add a second email and an A or B test to the workflow. Let's take the example of testing two incentives against each other. In one email, we'll offer a free shipping code and in the other, a 10% discount. Then we can see which one performs better. For this example, let's suppose that you've already written your templates. Click into the first send email step and adjust the name of the template to select AC hashtag one initial abandoned cart. We recommend using clear naming conventions for your templates that include the email's number in the sequence. In this example, this is the first email in the abandoned cart series. So we're naming it abandoned cart number one. Next, let's add a delay before sending another email. Click on the plus button and choose Add a delay. This is the time between when the system sends the first email and the second email in the series. Depending on your industry, you may want to wait only 24 hours before sending a second email, or you may want to wait up to a week. You could easily add A or B test the timing of the delay between the first and the second email as well by adding an A or B test step here. But for now, let's set the delay to two days and focus on an A or B testing the email content. To set up that A or B test, click on the plus button to add the condition A or B split. You can name it for clarity to remember what exactly you're testing. Type in the name incentives test. Click finish. The workflow now has two paths for you to create. 50% of your contacts that move through the workflow will get one email, while 50% will get the other. In the first path, select Send an email. In this case, the email offers the shopper 10% of the products in their cart. Select the email template AC hashtag 2, follow up with 10% off. Remember to enable data to be passed from the abandoned cart into your email by clicking Use my event data to customize the email. Choose Data from the last received event and type in cart updated or whatever event name you use when an item is added to a cart. Now let's create the B path. Use the exact same settings except this time you're sending a different email which offers the shopper free shipping for their products. Select the email template AC hashtag 2 follow up with free shipping code and choose use my event data to customize the email Data from the last received event, cart updated. Go ahead and activate your workflow now. In the future, if you want to see how your A or B test performs, simply go to the workflow section of automation. Navigate out into automation. Now open up the drop down menu of more under that particular abandoned cart email. Click the first option, stats. Scroll down to the A or B split and it will tell you how many emails were opened and clicked on in each path. View more stats gives you more details. You can also set up additional separate workflow to track conversions from your abandoned cart emails. This will allow you to measure within the Send in Blue platform how much revenue in conversions your abandoned cart emails are bringing in. To learn more about how to do this, visit our Help Centre. Good luck!